In front of me, in my basket, I have 32 products that I have tried and been testing out for about two months now, or at least from when they came out, which some of them are fairly new releases. But I wanted to bring these to you because it's time for me to give you my honest, wholehearted reviews on them so that you know whether or not these are good. There's been so many releases and I feel like we are swimming in releases right now. So my name is Melissa. I'm 56. I am a beauty content creator here on YouTube and I've been here for eight years. I am passionate about all things beauty, skincare, hair care, makeup, and lifestyle. I hope that you do enjoy this video and if you're new here, I hope that you do decide to subscribe if you enjoy the content. Also, if everybody wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, hitting the notification bell, that helps me as well and it helps you because you know when I am going to upload a new video. I also get asked every single time what I have on for a shirt and for jewelry and all of my makeup and all of that will be listed down below. Most of the makeup that I'm talking about today will be in this box right here that we're going to be looking at so that you know that. So without further ado, let's get into this because we have 32, approximately 32 products to look at to see whether or not there were any good. We're going anywhere from high end all the way to drugstore. Let's start off with a bang with the L'Oreal Infallible 3 Second Setting Mist. This is a 36 hour defy transfer. Okay. Risa Does Makeup says that what she does with this is she sprays it on her chest and then there's no transfer on her clothes. If you have that problem, because I bring my makeup all the way down, I have discoloration on my neck, I have discoloration on my chest, and I really have a hard time keeping my clothes from getting makeup on it, this does it. I don't necessarily put this on my face because it's basically like hairspray, but I do love it for there because then it saves my clothes and I don't have to use so much shout it out when I get to the laundry room. This is a great product and I have been loving it. And yes, it does have some alcohol on it, but spraying it here doesn't bother me. It's when it gets on my, the alcohol gets on my face that I have a problem. By the way, did I say that these are going to be speed reviews? They are. This one is the Ulta Beauty Complexion Crush Medium Coverage Foundation. If you saw me earlier in the month, I completely reviewed this in a video and I'll try to rem remember to link that video down below. I love this foundation. Now they have recently repackaged and reformulated for their all of their makeup to be clean makeup. They wanted to go that way. This was a great match for me. It was light medium. It covered everything. It evened everything out. It lasts all day. It was kind of a satin finish, a very soft matte satin finish. And I loved it. I thought it was really good. One coat was, was good. And then I just put extra on the parts on my face that I do get some discoloration and I needed some extra help. So really enjoyed that. Risa does makeup. I was so influenced this month. I was like buying, 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 and it was all off of being influenced by other influencers or by you guys. Risa does makeup had been talking about somebody that she watches over on TikTok that has the most beautiful tan. And she was using, that gal was using the Indeed Nano Bronze Bronzing Drops. And I think this one is just in the regular color. There's like two colors, a lighter color and a regular color. And I think this was just the regular one. What is so special about this, even though I have the hardest time with anything that is super golden, I just use a tiny drop of this and then I buff it all into the perimeter of my face and it does not look golden. It does right there. For some reason, it looks that way, but once you get that buffed out on your face, it buffs in so pretty. You can see how I do have it on the perimeter of my face, and it doesn't look like I've got orange skin there at all. This is a very gel-like product, and I can't believe how well it goes into your skin. It just melts. And I was so shocked and so surprised at that. So if you've been looking at all of these drops that different companies have and wondering about them and whether or not there's something that's really worth it, I was too. I've tried several of them and have not been a fan of very many of them. But this one from Indeed, I indeed like. So this one is a good one, I can tell you. I also, from Stephanie Marie, learned about this MAC finishing 
powder. Now, not a setting powder, but a finishing powder. Medium mineralized skin finish in natural. And I love this. This is so pretty. If you don't want to disrupt the glow that you have like on different parts of your face. So I like to have a little bit of glow across my forehead and across the tops of my cheeks. And I want that glow to still show through. Even on my chest, I want it to still show through. This powder will continue to let you do that. Super light, super airy, hardly anything there, but you can tell that it's setting your makeup down and holding your makeup. And it's a finishing powder, not a setting powder. I really have been enjoying this. And what's the difference between a setting and a finishing? Well, a setting is gonna set your makeup down and it's going to keep your makeup in place. A finishing powder is one that's just going to give you a little bit of luminosity. It's going to finish off your makeup with possibly a little bit of light reflecting properties to it. Although I don't feel like that really has this in here, but it's going to blur and it's going to make your skin look perfect and finished and flawless. The lippy that I have on um, is one that will be listed down below the gloss, but this is a lipstick that I got from Clinique and this is plum pop and I showed this in a video very recently. This is so pretty This is going to be my go-to fall color for lips. I can tell you right now I have used this already a dozen times and I love the way that this makes my lips look juicy and plumped up but this lasts on your lips quite some time even though it is a satin lipstick not a matte it still is very nourishing and it's just this color payoff that we need and if you're looking for something that is more on the nude side they have those too so go look for those but I am really impressed at how much I like these Clinique lipsticks was quite surprised at that so really have been enjoying that one also a primer that i got this has been out for quite some time it's from one size and it's secure the blur makeup magnet primer when it says that it blurs and it's a magnet it's for real what i love about it is you don't feel dry after you put it down it's not matte it has the dimethicone in it you can feel that but you feel it sink into your skin really quickly and you see that blur like no other. I mean that blur is there and the other thing it does grip your makeup and your makeup is staying in place all day. So I'm really loving this one and I can say thumbs up to this and if you're somebody that has texture or big pores you might absolutely love this because it's going to blur all those out and your foundation is going to look pretty on top of it and be held on because it does have that property of gripping onto your makeup or your foundation really like this one something that i like but i'm so on the fence about are the new fenty um, glosses these are the bullet glosses i can't remember what these are called exactly because i can't read the bottom of them but i'll put it up on the screen for you i loved the color payoff on these they're so pretty this one is hibiscus look at the shine on those isn't that amazing they're just beautiful and then the other one i'm gonna have a hard time reading this one as well i can't see it but this is kind of the nude color the pinky nude color that she has i love the shine on these but that's the problem for me is that after an hour they're gone and even though i love the color payoff and i love the shine i still want something that's going to last a little bit longer than that that's why i always end up going back to bullet lipsticks they just seem to last so much longer on my lips so i like these as far as formula and the shine and the payoff of the color but it's not as long lasting as I would have liked them to be. Okay, I said I was gonna talk about Tear Tear. I ended up getting two different colors. Well, I ended up getting three colors and returning one. The problem that I found with this is it's a little bit thick and clings to my dry patches a little bit on my mature skin. So I was a little bit disappointed because the hype was like over the moon, right? Everybody's heard the hype on these. And the colors were a little bit yellow. So it was a little bit hard for me to really figure out what I was going to do for a color. I could make it work, but it just wasn't my favorite. So I kind of set that aside. But then I heard somebody talk about the Tear Tear. This is a different formula. This one is Mask Fit Red Cushion. This one is Mask Fit Aura Cushion. This one is so much lighter than the original one. 
and I really did like this one a lot better. I got the little one because I was afraid, again, that I wasn't going to like it. And yeah, it's a little bit light on me and it is a tiny bit too orange, but I think I could probably find a color that I really liked. Using this little puff was surprising to me. You just go down in the cushion and you push it down and then you pat it all over. And I was really surprised that you don't deposit too much. It just blends a ton out. I mean, not you don't put a ton on there. What I mean is you blend it out a ton and you get that coverage from it. So I liked this one better. I think that it's because of my dry skin. So if you're somebody that's been wondering about it, you've been wondering about it for mature skin, I would say skip the red one, go for the silver one. You might really like it. The problem is, is that there's not that many colors in the silver one. They are expanding the range in the red one because it's gone so viral. Hopefully they will do the same thing with the silver one. But good foundation, lasts a long time, wasn't too drying, and really perfected my skin on that silver one. So like that a lot. All right, Jen, back to Jen. She is my girl. <laughs> Jen Phelps, I love you. Okay, RMS Beauty. She did that whole video on RMS Beauty and the gal that founded it. She's a makeup artist so going way, way back. Amazing, down to earth woman. I just love watching her. This one is the Beach Walk Betty and this one is the Redimension Hydra Bronzer. Now, all of them that I looked at were super orange. And then I looked in the pan and I'm like, oh my gosh, that has such a metallic look to it. But when you put this on, there's no metallic look to it at all. I mean, I have this over top of the Indeed bronzing drops and this is beautiful. You can build this, you can wear it very washed out. It is gorgeous. I mean, you start working with it and it is so buildable and not so pigmented that you get the wash. And that's what that gal goes for in her makeup. You're getting the wash of color that isn't so stark when you begin with, but you can build it up if you want to. This particular color, Beach Walk Betty, is always sold out. I just happened to find it on their website, on RMS website. Hope you can find it too, because if you're somebody that struggles with orange, this is not orange. It's got a red undertone and it is fabulous. I love, love, love this powder bronzer and I have not loved, loved, loved a powder bronzer in a very long time. So this one, beautiful and the lasting power on this is great you can also buy refills for these you just push up the bottom right here and then you can use get a refill instead of having to get the whole thing i like that about it too but this is a gorgeous color and i would highly recommend that to anyone let's talk about another foundation about face i when i first got this i was not impressed i don't know whether it was my skincare or the primer that i used but i wasn't impressed at all it felt like it was patchy and broke apart, but then I changed it up, used a different primer, and I think the primer that I used underneath it was a silicone base, and that was good, and it just went on gorgeous. And the other thing is they have really nice colors. They're not getting you so yellow that you look crazy and you have to counteract it with your blushes or whatever. I really like this. The only drawback to this is that it does have a doe foot applicator. That's my only drawback. I wish that it had a pump. I'm somebody that would much rather have a pump in my foundation than anything else, but no oxidation went across my texture skin really well across the pores. And I just really appreciated how perfecting it was on my mature skin. And then it lasts for like 12 to 14 hours. I had it on a long time that day. I think I even took a nap that day and it was there. So this one was a really good one as well. Um, this one, again, Risa does makeup. She influenced me on this one. This is from Morphe. This is one of their palettes. And this one is called what? This is called the Artistry Palette. And where is the, this is Going Platinum. Okay, this is a beautiful palette. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And I think the standout in here is this color right here. If you ever have a party to go to or you ever feel like you're just wanting to rock that absolutely beautiful chrome look, oh my word. And I did not find anything in this palette that I didn't like working with. They have some really beautiful duo chromes, like that's a duo chrome right there, shifts between a little bit of pink and a little bit of brown in there. And the mattes are phenomenal. I use that matte right there to line the bottom line on my eyes. So pretty. This one was used as my transition. 
these are really beautiful and i know that a lot of people don't appreciate morphe because of their past but i think that they did come under some new management i'm not 100 percent sure but i do know that i like their formulas a lot better now than i used to this is the first one i've tried in years and I was really impressed. So Risa hit that one out of the park as well. However, she talked about this product and I don't know whether I just got a very dried out old one or what, but this is from, from CoverGirl and this is their Clean Fresh Brow Liner Nano Pencil. And I got mine in blonde. And I really wanted to like this because of the next product that I'm going to show you. But every single time I wind this up even a little bit. I mean, you don't want to do it too far because it's super, I mean, I don't even know if you can see that. Can you see how fine that is? It's super fine. But every single time I start to try to work with it, see, it just broke. I think that I might have gotten a bad one or a dried out one because I saw Cher Makeup by Cheryl. She was um, doing this, showing something like this, and she had like five that she had purchased because she loved them so much. But this breaks off every single time for me. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try another one of these and see if I can't get it to work because I like the idea of having a super fine pencil that you can do actual brush strokes with without having the pen because I make a mess with the pen. But this one just didn't quite work for me. So I'll let you know on that one. However, this is one that Stephanie Marie talked about. And this is the Precisely My Brow Detailer this is the teeny tiny one as well. What's different about this one, and hopefully you can see this as well, right up here, it has a protective little spout. I don't know what else to say. Protective little part that comes out. It's um, plastic right there. So you wind it up very slightly, and then you go in with those brush strokes, and it seems to, if I can get it to start, because my hand is all got kinds of lotions on there, but you can see, hopefully you'll be able to see, how well it does even that broke off just a tiny bit but what's cool about this is you get those micro fine strokes that look like hair so if you have no hair in your eyebrows you can make yourself look like you have hairs in your eyebrows without using the pen liner liquid that are so is so hard to use yeah i'm with you on that one because this one is great. It stays on. It is a little bit stiffer of formula, so it's not going to rub away during the day, and you get those teeny tiny brush strokes. I love that. From Pixie, this is from Hello, the Hello Kitty line that she has, and this one is called Sweet Glow. This is a highlighter, huge pan of highlighter. What I like about this is it's super soft, but I also like that it's not a high beam highlighter. Remember the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter? It's kind of like that. So you're getting a glow without getting this bright, shimmering, like disco ball look to your cheeks. It's really pretty. I really love it. Um, it's not what I'm wearing today, but and I'll show you what I'm wearing today. But this is one that is super soft, goes really well with cream blushes, which we're all into right now. And that pan is going to be around for a very long time. And they have a few colors on this. It's a really great formula. I like that they have it where you twist the top down so it's going to stay very fresh and you're not going to have it drying out because it is a little bit more of a creamy formula, even though it's a powder. Let me tell you about the other one, Risa. Risa just did me in this month, I'm telling you. <laughs> this from Say is one of their cream highlighters and I don't remember this even being released. I'll put it up on the screen, but this one is Pink Glow. This pink highlighter and the creaminess in it, you can tell I've been using it like crazy. The creaminess in it is phenomenal. I, I'm so impressed and I, you know, I love a good highlighter, but this is one that grabs onto the cheeks and is there all day long. I mean, you can see what I have on right now, but even just dabbing that a little bit more, you'll be able to see a little bit more what's there. This is so pretty. It is a product that is cream to powder almost, but it doesn't disrupt any of your makeup. Sometimes when you have a cream highlighter, cream blush, they will disrupt your makeup. This one from Say, this is gorgeous. I honestly have not seen anything else on the market like this you know they're coming out with balms and they're a little bit tacky on your skin that keep your skin tacky throughout the day this doesn't do that this gives you that glow a very very soft candlelight glow without having it be that wet look 
I there's no other way to describe it other than that. So I really love this. Morgan Turner said that this spray was her second spray to the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Setting Spray, and that's my all-time favorite. So I'm like, all right, I'm going out and getting it. And this is from Hourglass. This is their Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. This is so pretty. It really does give you a soft focus to your look. You need to shake it up really well. And it does have a super fine mist on it. Again, I love that. And I'm not smelling any sort of a fragrance on it. So you know that. <laughs> this is a really pretty, just soft focus look that will take your makeup and it will melt everything together. So you've got a layer of foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, blush, everything. This just seamlessly melts it all together and I am impressed with this one. This definitely is a runner up to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It really gives you that veiled look across your skin. It's just so pretty. You can spray this over and over again during the day. I just really love that. Gotta keep going. There's so much to talk about here. Here's one of them that I did not like. This is from Patrick Ta and this was his new highlighter duos. So you have the powder down here and then you have the cream right here. First of all, I felt like the cream was that balmy, sticky texture, which I'm not a fan of. I don't like that sticky texture at all. I get it why he did it, but it's not for me. The other one is the powder. And again, it's just, it just didn't do it for me. It just didn't have any payoff on it. It just looked like you could use this as a powder to set your makeup, which I might actually set my under eyes with this someday just to see what happens. But this balm right here was just super sticky and it just didn't work. Even though I'm a huge Patrick Ta fan, I mean, I have every single I had the foundations and the bronzers and the blushes and the other highlighters that he came out with last year but this one it just fell short and I don't know whether it was this color or whether it was just the product in general but it wasn't the one that I really liked that much from the drugstore oh my goodness Allie Glines told me about this how I was influenced Allie Glines had uh, polled her subscribers and they told her about the clean lipsticks the first one is in Blooming Lilac. Let's see if I can get some of this off of here so you can see this. Blooming Lilac. These are a beautiful, the ColourPop ones, these are really close to that ColourPop one I just showed you. Maybe a little bit more on the matte side of satin. Still satin, but definitely a little bit less shiny on there. And then this one is called Romance Mauve. These are incredibly beautiful payoff. Oh my goodness. Go get you some because if you love drugstore lipsticks, I was really pleasantly surprised about this because I'm always on the hunt for a beautiful lipstick from the drugstore. I even like this bullet right here. It's square and it feels a little bit more high end than the ones from CoverGirl in the past. So I really like that and I am definitely going to look for other colors, maybe a nude in here, pinky nude. And if you know of any pinky nudes in this line, let me know. All right, Refi came out with their concealer and I didn't like it. It was dry, it was crinkly, and it didn't work on my under eyes. And I'm not gonna take any more time on it because it covered up everything, but within an hour, I looked like I was 100 years old underneath my eyes. So I'm not gonna take any time on that, but that is one that I would say a big no to. And then also, they came out with these right here at Ulta. And these, I think that all of these products have been at Ulta. They just are reformulating, repackaging. This is the Lip Lacquer. So this is a lot like the ones from um, Maybelline, the vinyls. And it doesn't say you have to shake them. And I didn't the first time. So here are the colors on these. These are so pretty. And I will put up on the screen, since we are doing speed reviews, I will put up on the screen what these colors are for you. I love this formula. You want to talk about a formula that gives you lipstick and gloss hybrid. This is the one. This is the one for you. You're going to love it. And no matter what color I got of this, I loved the way that it would sit on my lips. It wasn't sticky. It wasn't tacky, but it was thick enough that it last and last and last. It was kind of like the L'Oreal eight hour ones um, that we used to have, we used to get all the time. And I actually did just put that in another video, but 
these are beautiful. These are really pretty. I think that these are going to be ones that I will use for a long time. A mascara that I found to be really lovely and I'm wearing it today is from Milani. This is the Anti-Gravity. I think I had tried this when it very first came out and then, you know, I try so many and da 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 but I really am enjoying this one. It builds, it lengthens, and it keeps my lashes curled up. Also, it doesn't flake. I love that about it. And here is the wand. I will show you the wand. It's kind of an hourglass wand, but it has a tip on the end that's very fine and straight. So I do like that very much. And this one has been a winner, winner, chicken dinner for me. But I did hear on social media this whole like month about the Kill Lashes from Clio. Well, it's not all called Kill Lashes. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, these are good and they will hold your lashes and they will give you length and they will give you volume, but you will have a bugger of a time getting these off at the end of the day. And I use a really super duper balm to get any of my eye makeup off because I don't want to tug. Couldn't get it off. It took me three days to get this off. So my suggestion would be is to use whatever you like. Maybe like I do, you like the Rare Beauty Mascara or something like this from Milani. Well, if you put something like this on the tip of it, you're going to be able to keep that on longer and it's not going to smudge on you. And this won't be so hard to get off because you already have that initial coat that's going to be the one that's going to need to release off of your lashes. So this I would be really careful of. I liked the finish of it, but I didn't like how hard it was to go ahead and take it off at night. From Fenty Beauty, she came out with her lip liners and I love these. These are a really good liner and the reason being is because not only do I like the colors, she finally found some cool colors, but she also has a very long wearing formula. It's very easy to put on, but it lasts a long time. Now that color that I just showed you, I think this is called Thug's Blush 2. And then the other one is her Riri. And I like both of them, but I think that I like Riri just for the depth of it. And it's going to be so pretty going into fall. Great smooth liner and it stays on really well. If you want to fill your lips in with it, it's going to be there all day. This is just a fantastic one. And then also from from Give Beauty from Gwen Stefani. If you have not tried these lip glosses, they are so beautiful. These are super pillowy, soft, super hydrating, and I fell in love with these instantly. These are a huge hit with me. I love how long these stick around, and I love the colors that she has in here. And if you're um, looking for them right now, they might be on sale on the Sephora website. I was noticing that they were kind of going pretty quickly, but um, go ahead and get on her website as well and you'll find them. Great color payoff and they have the really beautiful gloss as well. So that's kind of my sweet spot is when you can get a really nice gloss, but you can also get the hydration and the long lasting benefits of it. So I don't want a gloss that's going to go on and like an hour or half an hour later, it's going to be completely gone. Of course, it's not going to last all the way through while you're eating or anything, but this is a really good one. And from Ulta Collection, again, they reformulated, and this is their serum concealer, and I believe I have mine in light medium, and I am wearing this one today in the very corner, and then I wore my Tower 28 out. But this is a medium coverage. It's not a full coverage. You can build this up a little bit, but I would say be careful because you don't want it to get cakey. I love how thin the formula is, and I like that you can really blend it well. So you're tapping it just a little bit and it doesn't crease and it doesn't dry down for me at all. And I love that about it. It was really pretty when I did try it. I tried it with the foundation that day in that video. And again, I'll link that for you. It just gave good coverage and it really gives Tower 28 a run for its money. I am a Tower 28 diehard fan because of how thin it is, but the coverage is there and it does not make me look older, and that's a huge benefit, and this one is a very, very close runner-up. Julie Adams, she had her top three in every category very recently, and instead of doing three in the brow category, she only had this and from Kosas and the Kosas Brow Gel, and she said this was her favorite, and I know why now, after I went out and picked it up because of her. It has a little triangle right there, 
on the tip of it, but it's a very fine triangle compared to so many of the other ones that have come out. They're a lot bigger. And this you can turn to one side and you can really just get that precise line or you can turn it and get a little bit fatter of a fill in line going on. This is a really beautiful product. And again, this one lasts a long time. You get a spoolie on the other end. I did not try the brow gel, but I am going to try that. And this one gets my stamp of approval too. This was is what I'm wearing on my eyebrows today. And it just filled in so well and it was so easy to work with. So I really love it. From Sydney Grace, one more thing. This is a perfume that I picked up and I didn't even know she did perfumes. She does perfumes. This is a very floral citrus perfume for summer. I love this perfume. I've got to try some more of her perfumes. They come in the standard, you know, refillable little thing right here that you can twist down, throw it in your purse. I love that about it. But this perfume is so feminine without being overly dramatic in the floral category because I can't handle that. It just is really, really pretty. And I have been wearing it like crazy and i found that it lasts a long time on my skin i also found that it didn't react and change so much on my skin so sometimes you get a perfume and it just changes to be dramatically different than it is in the bottle and this one ha didn't do that on me so i really liked that as well and yeah i can't wait to try a few more of her fragrances urban decay came out with the big bush brow laminate it's not a laminate it's more of a um, brow gel that is colored or tinted and it has fibers in it and I used it today and I was so impressed because right up here at the top of my lashes I have hardly any of these long uh, brows lashes brows but they don't you know they don't fill in really well this helped it fill in it was so good I just really am impressed with this and was surprised because I'm not a brow person. I don't go out and buy a bunch of brow stuff even though there's quite a few in here. I just don't, it's not my thing. I would rather find something, stick with it and just use it. But this one was a new product and I wanted to try it and I really found that I really did like it a lot. Rare Beauty also came out with a new pressed powder. This is a finishing or a setting powder. This is what I'm using for my powder today. And I do like this a lot. It really blurred out everything I needed it to blur out. And it's setting down all of my makeup, keeping it in place. And at the same time, it's also good for under eyes. I was just really surprised. It brightens up as well. I really like this one a lot. I think that through this summer and how muggy it's kind of been, it's been really good to use, but I really like the feel of it. It's super light, super airy. It's not, it doesn't feel super buttery, but it does have that super light consistency of it. And I love the way that it just blurs out every, all of my pores and everything. So setting powder or finishing powder, you could use that for either one. Last but not least, let's talk about some Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I got two colors and I'll put them up on the screen because I can never see these colors. But the first one I got, I love, I love the color. Where am I going to put this right here? I love the color smooth. This is the kissing formula. And they talk about how much longer this lasts than any other formula that she has as far as the satin. If it were a matte, it lasts longer, obviously. But I love this berry color. Can you tell I have this berry theme going for fall? But this other color, and again, I will put that up on the screen. This is a pretty color, but it has this grainy texture in it. You can see it on the bullet and it's driving me crazy. Hopefully you'll be able to see it and you probably won't be able to see it, but it's got little grain pieces in there. I don't know what that is. And if any of you have tried this before and you've found that, will you let me know? Because I love that color. It's a beautiful muted rose color, almost between berry and rose. And I really like it, but yeah, I'm like, mm, I'm not going to do that. So I'll stick with this one, the darker one that I have, um, of course, but it really is a nice lipstick formula and you know you spend that kind of money you don't exactly want grain grand granules into your lipsticks but i got a few granules in there so yeah that's it um i think that's everything that was a huge speed review for you guys i'm losing my voice so i'm going to wrap this up i thank you so much for being here with me Whatever there is in your makeup or your skincare or your hair care, beauty, whatever, fashion, lifestyle, 
Let me know what you found lately that you're excited about. Maybe you've gone back through your stash. I think that's my next video. I'm going to go back through my stash and get some of those OGs out that are just great products that we forget about because everything comes out so quickly. One of my videos coming out very soon is called, called Blush Palooza. And I have over 20 blush formulas that I'm going to be showing you and helping you to decide what would be best for your mature skin or if you're younger, your beautiful young skin. Not that our mature skin isn't beautiful. That was it. Okay, open, open mouth, put in foot. I love you guys. I hope that you're doing really well. Thank you so much for being with me. Come back around in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.